Good day, viewers. You are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Cha cha. Breaking news. Atiku's lawyer in serious trouble as EFCC drags him to court for money laundry of $2 million. According to Premium Times, the EFCC on Tuesday rearranged a lawyer to Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Uyekme Osage Giwa and his son, Etuse Giwa Osage, before the Federal High Court in Lagos on a three count charge of money laundering to the tune of $2 million. The duo was first arraigned before Justice Nicholas Oweibo on a three count charge bordering on the alleged offense on August 14th. They both pleaded not guilty. The EFCC said in a statement that the accused were both rearranged before Justice Chuka Obiozo for the first time. The commission said the lead counsel to the first and second defendant, Ahmed Raji and Kwaka Nelson, we are represented by John St. Samuel and Olufemi Ajorin, respectively. They reportedly applied in writing to the count to adjoin the matter on the ground that the lead counsel for both defendants were not in the court. It added that the lawyer also informed the court that a letter had been written to the administrative judge of the Federal High Court, Ikoi, seeking directives to consolidate the case as same charges were filed against the defendant before both Justice Obiozo and Justice Chuku Jeku Aneke. The prosecution counsel Kufre Uduak, however, confirmed the receipt of the consolidation letter and the application for adjournment. Mr. Uduak, who held brief for Rotimi Oyedekbo, told the court that the plea was to be taken by the defendant and not their counsel, adding that absence of lead counsel should not stall proceedings given the fact that they are represented in court. There was no concrete basis for the defense counsel to seek the administrative judge permission for consolidation of the case. The matter before Justice Oweibo is not in any way related to the case brought before your lordship and does not require any form of consolidation. Mr. Udwak reportedly told the court, Justice Obiozo therefore overruled the prayers of the defense for adjournment and ordered that the defendant takes their plea. He then held that the court cannot predetermine the decision of the administrative judge on the consolidation of the cases. The court has to wait to hear from the administrative judge on consolidation, but however, the defendant shall take their plea, Mr. Obiozo ruled. The defendant then pleaded not guilty to the judge. In view of their plea, the prosecution counsel, Mr. Udwak, asked for a trial date. Counsel to the defendant urged the court to allow their client to continue to enjoy the bail terms and condition granted by Justice Oweibo. Justice Obiozo acceded to the request of the defendant. He adjoined the case to December 5th for possible hearing as parties await the decision of the administrative judge on consolidation. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, what's your take on this news? Please don't forget your comment 
are of great importance. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.